Do you remember this? Well, it's time to do it. That's right, it's the Exited London upgrade time. Taylor's here and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play. Today we're going to be doing this extra thing like I just said, so let's crack on do it. There's no messing around, we're just going to go on with it today. We've got lots of other little jobs that I'd like to get done, but we're just going to crack in and get these here. So this is currently called Exeter Halt, and... There we go. So this has been designed to get the maximum station spread that we can get. And recently, in a live Let's Play, I've been building these kind of stations quite a lot. So I've actually got quite used to how to build these sorts of junctions, he says, hoping he gets it right first time. So I'm getting, I'm getting much quicker at them. Now, this is the version that I do for when I'm using trains that are 8 in length. Because if they are, uh, no, sorry, not eight in length, six in length. Because if they're longer than six in length, you need a longer section here. Okay. So that you don't block the station by a waiting, exiting train. So that looks like it's potentially all the track in. Let's get the depots in here and here. Let's get the signals in. So we have entry signals just before the split there. And then those two join up here okay and it's the same here so one long bit in here crossovers in front of the two pairs of platforms one pair and there's the other pair we need a tunnel here so I press Q to make the land go down leave the appropriate gap enough room for this piece of track to cross along here and then connect these up now, I've got used to making these sorts of bits of track through repetitive practice, really, to be honest. Um, there we go. Now, these sorts of stations are not the most efficient sort of stations you can do, but they are one of. Now, we've still got one and a half million in the bank, and this line is going to be replacing this one and here's where the quad tracks coming next to our brand new ore line so we need to just oh, hang on a minute so we're going to do the whole new track along here and then we'll just connect it up there and hopefully everything will be fine and let's get rid of this just trim a little bit of hillside out of the way. This is why I didn't originally go this play, this way in the first place. Because to go this way required too, mu too much land height changes uh, to do it neatly. And I just wasn't willing to commit the money to it at the time. So, now I am. That's £200,000 we just spent on this one little section. And the track's quite expensive as well. All these little 15 grand segments across the screen really do add up. Now, we're getting closer, and looking at it, we're going to miss this town and be in perfect alignment. Which is absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased that we are. So let's just get that. Bring it to here. So these outer tracks here, we're going to have them um, go to one set of platforms, and when we're going to have the other set go to the others. Now it's two up, two down. So we're going to have to split this off in a clever way. And doing it diagonally is not easy. Diagonal tracks in OpenTTD just don't work very well, because... You can't do tunnels and bridges easily. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do this and do that. So the easy bits is... Let's just get the rest of this out of the way. There we go. The easy bit is that this bit will connect up to the top line. 
That's the first easy bit. The second easy bit is that this bottom one will connect up to this one. Now the problem is, is that this track needs connecting up down here and this track needs connecting up down here. So what we could do Hmm. Let's get rid of this land difference here, this land mass in the gap. Now, in theory, if we're not worrying about this third track, that's that one done. So what I'm thinking is, is that we actually bring this one down for a length. We put a tunnel here and then bring it across. Yes! Yes, that works. So there's our length there. There's six. We want to come across here like this. So we need a tunnel across those two bits and there. Now, I actually got a comment from somebody recently that said something along the lines of, you say tunnels are better generally, but yet you often use bridges. And that's true for two reasons. So let me just see. Are we going to be able to get this on the nose? No, we're not. Uh, how can we do... Oh, actually, yeah, we can just go in one square early. So those two reasons. Firstly, tunnels require land changes like this. And in some junctions and scenarios, you just can't fit the land change in where a bridge can fit in. And the other thing is, is that well, I'm a little bit lazy, don't always listen to my own advice, etc, etc. Sometimes I like a bridge. I like a bridge. Okay, and uh, also the other reason, the third one out of the two, is that sometimes you need a bridge to go over the land, like this. You can't do that with a tunnel, that's the purpose of a bridge. Um, so you are stuck with a bridge in that scenario. How's our buses doing? We've got... No buses waiting at Inverness. Well, let's clone a few more and send them on their way while we're over here. There we go. Right then, where was we? Down at Exeter. You know what? This has actually worked out quite nicely. Exeter Halt is, is in good. Now, one of the things we do need to do is build roads in around here to help the town grow. Um, and we'll just make them trans... Uh, I hope the town really like us, because I'm going to hook this up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. There we go. Um, yeah, so we need to just get like a little road mesh going in here. Now, if I'd have thought about it, I could have made this scenario so that it did have a mesh to it. For the town generation. But, yeah, didn't do that, didn't do that. Okay, so that's going to help on this side. Now, now that I've finished, hmm, now that I've finished the placing of the stations, I don't really worry too much about my um, my company rating, which is outstanding. So we can get rid of some of this hillside, help X to be more flat and even and grow better. That got rid of the last of our money, pretty much. We've only got enough money. Right, let's let's unpause the game because we need some money to flow in. We've only got a little bit of money for some roads. So somehow we need to connect that road up. Yeah, the the town haters now we've done that. Doesn't matter. Money's flowing in and they'll they'll right. Here we go. Let's sort out this this ship. Ship 8 is lost. Right. Pause the game. Ship 8, what are you doing? Because I had a comment where somebody said, oh, none of these ships are making profit. That's only half true. So these ships, uh, most of them are making profit. Some of them, not so much. And they're not always getting lost. They're just getting lost every now and then. So apparently, it got lost around Holt Boy. So either it can't find its way to the docks from Holt, or it was struggling getting to the Holt Boy. Now, it was going to the Holt Boy via the Sheringham Boy, which is there. That's not very far. That to the docks is 
further. So I'm going to put a new one in. We're going to put a new boy in here. Okay. So this ship, before it goes to the docks, can go to this boy. And then after it goes to the docks, can go to this boy. And we'll also skip its orders so that it's heading towards the boy now. There we go. Let's see if that helps. When another message pops up, I will deal with it. I'm not going to redo this whole network of things here. It's, it's just too much of a pain. <laughs> I'm just going to attend to it as, as required. Right then, roads. So somehow I need to connect these roads up to the city. And it looks like I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Can't connect it there. Maybe if I was able to remove a house around here, we'll see. But let's now just get that little bit of grin in around the station. Hopefully that will encourage... Exeter to grow around the town. Around the town? Around the station. There we go. And of course, it can grow down here too. Um, um, actually. There we go. We'll, we'll let it do whatever it wants around here. We'll just put those extra two little bits in. And then, I guess... Something like this. Actually, that lines up. Connects here quite nicely. Brilliant. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do today is uh, we need to, obviously, hook this brand new Exeter Halt line up into this and then change all those train orders so that they're not going to exit to transfer anymore which the hooking of that line should be relatively simple because they merge here and it's an up and a down so that's fine uh, the only problem here is they're gonna go down that line uh, which takes them into this platform. Uh, yeah, and then they're going to come back up here. So we're going to have to put a little wiggle in, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to put a little wiggle in. So what we'll do is we'll connect this up now. So this is the out, and we'll allow trains to keep going out. Oh, the orders need to change, though. You can't just... I was just going to manipulate the lines so that they were using the new station, but the orders need to change. Okay, um, do we quad this up today, now? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so let's do our station here. And we'll just remove some of the track. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That train find not finding a path is not a problem. It's not a problem right now. Now the difference at London is that I want the trains to be able to decide which of the eight platforms they're going to use. Um, want to give them the ah oh, right? Hang on, pause. Ship twelve is now lost. So there's ship twelve. It's just gone past Sheringham Boy, which makes me think. Yeah, look, it's another big run to the docks let's let's pop another one in let's pop another one not airport maybe we should pop an airport in uh let's put one in here this is something that i really wish the devs would sort out i don't see the need for twenty thousand boys all the time uh, right, so after we've gone to Sheringham, but before we go to the docks, Holt Boy, and then after the docks, Holt Boy 2. Um, and let's just change the order so it's going to the boy, and send them on the way. Right, 
<laughs> back to London. So yes, we want this incoming track to be a switch track so the train chooses which two of the two platforms it's going to use. Or should I say the eight platforms it's going to use. So we're going to completely redesign this sort of in a minute. So I'm doing the standard design first. There we go. We'll get that signal in there and we'll get these signals in here and here. Now, uh, I'm not going to do the depots just yet. In fact, if anything, I'm going to remove these depots. So we're going to have four lines coming in like this. And they need to hook up here. So of course this first one goes there and this last one goes here. It's a little bit too much of a kink there but we're working on it, it doesn't matter. This one again goes here and this one needs to go down to that. Okay, so these need to split out earlier, that's fine. But hmm. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll remove these two signals and have it we need to reverse one of these stations so that the the incoming lines on the opposite side. Right, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to reverse this station. So to reverse it we're going to do this and put the big incoming line on this side. I think I have done something like this before, maybe even quite recently, um, with reversing one of the stations. And by reversing, I, I probably the word mirror mirroring is probably more appropriate. Now the reason why I do that is so that this line and this line are close together and we can have one imp and you know what I've just remembered where I did it I did it here so this is uh, this is where the lines can cross over here in the middle you get two lines coming in and then they cross over in the middle these tracks uh, that come in are they're wrong they, they, instead of it going in, in, out, out, it goes in, out, in, out, uh, and then you shake it all about. So what we're going to be doing here is something similar, like, like this, no, oh my goodness, didn't want that, like that, okay. No, that can't go there. Mm, crossover go that way, straight go this way, straight go... Yes, okay, so that works. So these are my two input lines now, and there's a crossover there. So this is our closest point. Okay, we can get rid of this bit and this bit. There's our two exit lines. We can worry about the exit lines later. Okay, then the question I've got now on my lips is how we're going to get these two input lines together. And the answer is... Well, they're already together, because they come in uh, correctly on this one. So this will be an in, and this will be an in. So effectively... Nope, bit more. There we go. That's actually quite nice. It, the two lines come straight in. There's a divergence here. They can choose which of the eight platforms they want to go to depending on which platform and station is busy. Um, remember, there's not just eight platforms. There's actually four sets of two with the way that we've got things set up here. There's also a bit of tracks missing there. Who saw that bit of missing track? Did anybody notice that? Because I'd only just found it. And then we need to get these two bits hooked up to these two. Now, one of them is going to be quite easy because it's just on the outside. So this one's the difficult one. And I think we're going to have to have a tunnel here. Which is... No, not there. There. Oh my goodness. 
It's a bit of a long tunnel, really. Well, it's not that bad. Now, the problem here with having a tunnel like that is then we'd need a nice long exit before we join up to the main line, and then the other one would have to come round it. I mean, that's perfectly acceptable if we can get... Oh, we can. Brilliant. I think I took a little bit too much out of that town. But we have a six length here. So we're working in sixes all the time. So we make sure that we go along six before we do another turn. And then there we go. He says, doing it slightly wrong. Um, you know what? That's not too bad. And this can be just one great big massive diagonal. That's okay. Nope, not like that. There we go. That actually fits. Perfect. So, it's a little bit unorthodox. But we shouldn't have our train slow down too much. And it gives them the option to switch between the the inner or outer lines. Uh, we need the exit signals on over here. That's the exit for the merge there. And then we'll push the signals down this line here. Now, I've got them come in every three because I was doing a live Let's Play and I don't want them every three. Um, because in this game it costs us maintenance. So we're having them every six. There we go. Cool. And then this line here. So signals along there. Perfect. Brilliant. Uh, what's going on here? Why is that signal there? I don't know. Why is that signal the wrong kind of signal? All the signals are wrong. There we go. Perfect. Brilliant. Okay, so that's London done. And that's Exeter done. Now what we need to do is get all the trains off the old exit to transfer line. I guess we could just force them so they've got invalid orders. So let's let's do that. So let's remove that signal because it's in the way. Bring that there, so we're no longer going down to exit to transfer. Any trains will come along this middle line at the lower. Middle lower will come across this station. That will come across from the outside line, and the outside line connects up here. So that's fine. As it stands. So we need to get all of these trains off this bit. So let's unpause it and let it roll for a bit. Now there's actually another different thing that we're going to be doing. We're going to be transferring passengers into Exeter Holt here from Exeter Transfer because we've got a fantastic little station down here with loads of passengers. It'd be a shame not to do anything about it. So what we're going to do is try and get trains in there to do that. Now the station spread won't allow me any further than here because we. I think the default is 12 but we've upped it to 15. So we've somehow got to get these tracks in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a little bit here and a little bit there. Now this is a terrible junction for now, but we'll improve it soon. Trains lost. Those trains being lost were expected. We don't need this road. And... One of these bits of hillside is going to have to go. How about both? There we go. So we're going to come down here and connect up there. Now I'm not sure if we're going to keep this forever, but we'll see. Right, now I think we're ready to start rocking with this. So after these trains have gone to London South, or before they go to London South, they're going to go to Exeter Holt. So hopefully now that's sorted out all these trains being lost. We're going to get a few notifications while the trains figure themselves out. Is there any trains around here? 
Nope. So we can disconnect that. Push these signals down the line. Should it? I think it should be seven spacing for signals, shouldn't it? Yes. Yes, Halish, it should. I just realised that. Because a seven spacing means that you get six in between. Right. Um, the trains are using this no problem. Let's do the signal spacing correctly here. So there's a chance we're going to get a train crash. But I think we're okay. And remove, remove. Just check the signals at the end here. Yep, they're okay. Okay, fix the signal spacing down at London. God, this is an, uh, uh, one massive line upgrade, isn't it? So in theory, all of these trains should be now fine. And as soon as they've stopped using this line, and it looks like the last one's coming off it now, we can actually uh, get rid of it. There we go. So there's the two exit lines merging down. And what we'll do is we'll do something with the two entry lines. We'll merge them out. Yeah, I like that. Let's get the signals in. So the signals go in that way and signals go in that way. And then we'll give them a train length and signals coming in, signals coming in. There we go. Just get rid of those two. Okay, so we go from a two track here to a four track and we should be completely fine. In, in, split, in, out, out. And it doesn't look like we've got any signals on this top line going out. Why? Because there's a big gap in it. There we go. Fix the mind mind the gap. Very much so mind the gap. Oh, we've got another ship that's lost quick. So ship ten just went past halt and is good. Tell you what, ship ten, before you go to the dock go oh, I did I move that? Ooh, I didn't know you could click and drag orders. I learned something. There you go. After nearly eight years, I'm still learning things. You can click and drag orders. There we go. We've added that one in. So hopefully that'll help ship 10. Right, what was we doing? We was getting rid of the old bit and filling in the gap. Um, here we go. We had a gap up here. So there's going to be a gap in the signals. The gap in the signal is going to be around here. That's another thing as well. When it's diagonal track like this, it's it's not easy to see the signals. So what I'm going to do is just remove signals along there and then replace them. Just to make sure. I mean, it's even more difficult, the fact that we've got six lines there. But if we look carefully, here you can see two going left, two going right, and then a left right. That is correct for what we're doing. So we can now get rid of this. We'll actually give us a little bit of money. We've got two million in the bank. Which hopefully means we can do some better junctions and upgrade this soon. Uh, there we go. And what we'll probably do is also add... Um, that was a four step. I didn't know that was a four step. We'll probably add the four track part in to the rest of the railway line. So there we go. We have now decommissioned and removed the old line. It's completely gone and now loops into Exeter Halt here. We're going to have a couple of trains just going round. We don't want this anymore. Um, what we will do though is add. A little bit of road going in here so that we can encourage Exeter to build there. 
we'll have a brand new train, new vehicle. Uh, we're just going to clone the existing ones though. 2,700 passengers. So we're going to close that. Close? Clone that. Apart from the orders. And we're going to say full load here. Then go here uh, and transfer and leave empty. And that should work. We'll get two of those trains doing that and send them on their way. This is terrible, by the way. Don't just let lines cross like this. Don't do that. I'm doing it for now. <laughs> it's a temporary thing. It's temporary. Uh, until I can figure out what I'm going to do with Exeter to transfer. I might have Exeter to transfer be part of a South Coast main line. Maybe that goes via Weymouth. Um, Southampton sort of way. Maybe terminating around Portsmouth. Or perhaps it could come down towards Brighton. I don't really want it to go much... F well, maybe Folkestone. Folkestone might be a good place for it to terminate. Or Dover. One of those two places. I mean, we haven't got France in this Let's in this let's Play. But if you feel like building a bit of France cross here, you know, and you're playing along, do feel like you you can do that. I would, I would like to see somebody out of France. Okay, let's quad this up. Let's quad this up. So, we come down here. This bit's a little bit weird because we've got to do the tunnels. Get rid of this road. We don't need this road. Oh, we've got another ship that's lost. Ship 5. So, ship 5 is going to... Yeah. It looks like it's all around this area trying to get from this Holt boy down to the docks. So before the docks we go to boy 2 and after the docks we go to boy 2. That should fix that. Right, um, continuing on back here. So here this is where we need the land height to change. Like this I think. So that we can tunnel under these depots. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. There we go. Tunnel, tunnel. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. This bit of land here needs to just go down. So that we can have track between these tunnels. That gives us the opportunity for some signals. There we go. Oops. What on earth did I do there? There we go. Uh, yep, that's all good. We're not using that piece of road so we can build across it without any problems. Uh, we've got a wiggle here. Now, how long are these tunnels? Because tunnels that are longer than and then a train length. I do like to put an extra set of tunnels in. These ones are 10. They are longer than a train length. But you know what? Only just. I'm not thinking we need to do too much about it. These are temporary depots. I need to put some proper depots in. Somewhere around here. But for now. We will move the depots out. And we'll put. What I'll do is I'll do a couple set more depots between episodes. Or maybe in a live stream. I don't know about that. Maybe we could do a live stream where we just go around the network while it's paused and just make things look a little bit better. So all the way from London now, we've got quad tracks um, coming up all the way past Bracknell. And... We're now coming past Reading, which we saved some space for. I'm so glad I, we did all this kind of sa uh, space saving so that we didn't have to worry about uh, these tracks in the future. Uh, we've got a train in a depot and another one here. That tells me that these depots are well used. We probably should look at getting some more depots in somewhere around here anyway. There we go. We've got trains saying they're lost, but that's probably just because I've been chopping out bits of uh, of track. 
I think. Uh, that bit of road is going to be fine, I think. So here we go. This is now where we're doing the biggest bit of cutting this episode through uh, through this hillside. I don't know what this part of the country is called. If you know what this part of the country is called, pop it down in the comments. I'd like to know. There we go. We're going past Lambourne and Hungerford. There we go. Right, well, folks, it's... Uh, I think we're getting close to having this a full four track setup now, which will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are starting to build over the hills by accident though. <laughs> and once this is four track all the way, and we've got those extra bits of stations in, that will be the upgrade all sorted and done. There we go. So let's do this. And do that. And a little bit left on the corner. I do... I I would have preferred just to have built this a quad track straight away. But the reason why I didn't is because I didn't have the money. All this extra land moving, all this extra track lane, it's costing quite a bit of money. And um, I'm glad that... Uh, I'm glad that I waited because our company now is working quite well to get that all sorted. Hey, wait. Hey, oh, here we go. We've got the little one. Hello, little one. Hello. Here we go. Oh. You going to help me build some trains for the end of this episode? Uh-huh. We're putting down some track. There's two tracks here uh -huh. and there's four tracks there. Can you see? Yeah, can can you can you Tell me what you need now. Well, what I need to do is dig the hills like that to make them flatter. And then we're going to connect the tracks up so that the trains can go down there. And all this bit here is already connected up. So we just need to do this bit along this diagonal and then we're finished. And then we can have some breakfast. What do you think of that? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What are you going to have for breakfast? I want a tea cake, but the shopping is not coming. Oh, don't we have any tea cakes in the house? Oh. Do you want to tell people that don't know what a tea cake is, what's inside a tea cake? Uh-huh. What's inside a tea cake? Um, raisin. Yeah? Is there any cake in it? Hey, is there any cake inside a tea cake? No. No, there isn't. It's a bit of a trick question, isn't it? No, no cake inside a tea cake. What's that all about, eh? What's that all about? I've cake lost... and tea mixed up together it's to make a tea. It's not cake and tea. You know it's not cake and tea. Cake and tea and raisins. There are raisins. It's it's more of a bread than anything else, isn't it? It's like a sweet bread, I think. Uh, uh, right, I think I've got all the signals done in on this top part. I'm not sure. I, what I'm going to do is just go around and check them all, but it certainly looks like it. And then we need signals going all the way down here, all the way down here, all the way down here through this bit and then to the station so join me next time where i will finish those signals off and add the extra depots in that we need but that's all from me for now thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode and from me and the little one it's goodbye for now see you bye bye, bye.